Hello everyone, how are you? After a long time, I'm here. Welcome back to this video series on Innovative Descriptive Statistics. I'm Gurushya and this is Level 1 Section 2 Video B. And in this video, we will be discussing on nominal and ordinal concepts. And if you have not yet watched Level 1 Section 2 Video A, which talks about qualitative data, please watch it that first because without knowing what is qualitative data, it will be difficult for a person to understand these normal and ordinal concepts. Okay? And you can watch it that either from the link that appears on the top or else from the link in the description box below. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's go into the topic. Nominal data. As I said before, nominal data is one of the subdivisions of qualitative data. And nominal data are the data collected in the nominal variables. So, it's crucial for us to understand what is nominal variables first. Hence, before learning this video, that is, before learning the ordinal and nominal concepts, please be aware of what is qualitative data, what is variable. That's it. Okay, then coming to the nominal variable. Nominal variable is a variable that measures the name, identity or category. Name, identity or category. For example, for name and identity, you can take these examples. Name. As a noun, it holds the name of a person, place, thing, then phone number, residential address, email address, register number, postal code, etc. These are the examples for name and identity. And for the category, you can take gender, marital status, religion, nationality, blood group, I mean blood type, favorite color, favorite political party, etc. And all these variables are nominal variables, starting from the name, phone number, till the favorite political party, everything comes under nominal, and there are a lot more like this as well. And one more thing, please note all the examples under category, that is the gender, marital status, uh, religion, and so on, has categories to it. Categories of gender would be male, female, transgender. And for religion, it may be Hindu, Muslim, Christian. And for blood type, it may be O positive, B positive, AB negative, B negative, and so on. I hope you understood. And all the variables we discussed about are nominal in nature. One more thing, there are two important points that you have to understand when it comes to nominal variable. The first point is, the categories under the nominal variable don't have any order. There is no intrinsic ordering among the variables. Let me explain. If we take the variable gender, uh, gender has usually three categories, male, female, transgender, am I right? And there is no rule that these three should be in this order. That is, we need not specify these categories only like this. That is male, female, transgender. There is no order among the categories. We can rearrange them as female, male, transgender, transgender, male, female, male, transgender, female, and anything like that. There are three categories for gender, but there is no intrinsic ordering among them. Similarly, if we take blood type, we have various categories such as O positive, AB positive, AB negative, B positive, B negative, and so on. And there is no need to put these in the same order as it is here. We can change them. There is no way to order these categories from highest to lowest and lowest to highest. Every category is equally important when it comes to nominal variable. Is that clear? I hope that it is. And when a nominal variable has only two categories to it, for example, yes or no, true or false, present or absent, agree or disagree, okay, we can specifically call those variables as dichotomous variable, binary variable or nominal dichotomy variable type. And when there is two or more categories, we can also call, I repeat, we can also call the variable as polychotomous variable, but it comes under nominal. And when there is exactly three categories, uh, some authors, not many of them, but some authors call them as trichotomous variable as well. Okay, this is the first important thing that you have to know. Then the second and significant thing that we must understand is, we can assign or code numbers to the categories of nominal variable. We can assign or code numbers to the categories of the nominal variable but the number does not mean anything. The number here are meaningless and they're just a grouping procedure, that's it. We can even swap the numbers as we wish and that's not going to affect anything. For example, let's take blood type. And now I'm going to assign 
zero for O positive, one for AB positive, two for AB negative, three for B positive, and four for uh, B negative. Okay. As I assign zero for O positive and four for B negative, it doesn't mean that the blood type B negative is greater than O positive. And similarly, if religion is concerned, let me assign one for Hindu, two for Muslim, and three for Christian. And as 3 is greater than 1, it doesn't mean the Christians are superior than Hindus. As I said before, every category is equally important. The numbers are used here only to categorize or identify objects. The number have no mathematical meaning. Okay, this is the nominal variable and the information we get under all these variables are known to be nominal data. And after this, we are going to discuss about ordinal variable. One second. Before going to the ordinal variable, my suggestion is just pass the video. Have a sip of water. Maybe look here and there and take two minutes of break if you want. And again come back and resume. Why? Because learning without breaks make people tired. That's why it's crucial to take breaks now and then. Okay, let me start with ordinal variable. Ordinal variable is a variable that includes categories that are ranked order or include categories to which a rating scale is attached. For instance, look at these. Social class. The categories are poor, low middle class, middle class, upper middle class, rich. The severity of a software bug, critical, high, medium, low. Performance of students, high, moderate, low, etc. You can notice here the categories have specific order. The categories are ranked. The categories are either ordered in ascending like low, moderate, high or descending like um, high, moderate, low. Anyhow, there is a specific order to it. We can also assign numbers to these categories as we did for nominal variable. Um, and the social class I have uh, assigned 1 for poor, 2 for lower middle class, 3 for middle class, 4 for upper middle class and 5 for rich. Okay. And at this point, uh, that is when it comes to ordinal the number it holds has meaning it means um, here one is assigned to poor and two is assigned to lower middle class right number two is greater than number one i repeat number two is greater than number one and the lower middle class is also better than poor similarly five is greater than four and rich is better than the upper middle class i hope everyone understood but one thing is there we don't know how much better it is 5 is greater than 4, rich is better than upper middle class, but we don't know how much better it is. Okay, then let's come to rating scales. Why we want to come to rating scales? Because the definition suggests that ordinal variable is a variable that includes categories that are ranked ordered or include categories to which a rating scale is attached. Okay, let's see what is a rating scale. One of the most popular rating scale is Likert scale. And it is a scale used to measure the opinion of the respondents about a topic. Um, look at these questions. How will you rate your uh, new menu? And there are five options given. One is strongly dislike, dislike, neutral, dislike and five strongly like. In this case, a rating of five, a rating of five indicates more enjoyment than the rating of four. But as I said before, we don't know how much more enjoyment it has. Similarly, look at this. Uh, how do you feel about the increment? 1. Very unhappy. 2. Unhappy. 3. Okay. 4. Happy. And 5. Very happy. We can say that very happy is better than happy. But we don't know and can't quantify how much better it is. Is the difference between okay and unhappy the same as the difference between very happy and happy? No, right. Here, the differences between the adjacent categories will not be equal. For example, the gap between the first and the second runners in a race may be small, but the difference between the third and the second runner may be bigger. Similarly, there may be a bigger difference between very unhappy and very happy. Okay, bigger difference is there, but a smaller difference between happy and very happy. Happy and very happy are closer, so there is a smaller difference. Okay, hence the difference between the adjacent categories in the ordinal variable will not be equal. I hope that it's clear to everyone. Okay, wait for a second. Let me show you a questionnaire. Yeah, this one. This is a sample questionnaire that I have created. Please notice the questions that are being asked. And these questions either come under nominal or ordinal. But there are exemptions. Okay, let's start with the first one. Name. Name 
is a norm and a variable age think of age and um, find it out what variable it is and comment in the comment section okay gender gender has three categories male female and transgender as well as the categories doesn't have any order between them okay so it comes under nominal as well as marital status also married and married divorced and widow these four categories don't have any order between them or rank between them so it is a nominal variable permanent address people will not ask permanent address like this but this comes under nominal okay job title the title of the job is like a name right so it comes under nominal national insurance number national insurance number doesn't have mathematical meaning it's just a number to identify so it will also come under nominal variable only and phone number of course nominal the next question what are the three most common topics of conversation among your friends a b and c they are they are asking us to specify three names so it is a nominal variable only then what is the default web browser internet explorer google chrome mozilla firefox they have given the options we have to tick mark one or two also these categories also don't have any um what to say order this also comes under nominal then the next question is have you ever ignored a responsibility because of a social networking site the options are s yes, no <laughs> you can uh, if you have attentively watched the video you can answer this question yes yeah 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 i can hear right answers uh, it is a nominal variable but we can specifically call it as dichotomous most people directly call it as dichotomous variable that's it okay now the next do you believe information available on these sites is reliable yes no can't say the, there are three categories and you have to guess what it is and comment in the comment section then the next one have you attended any training programs conducted by a company yes no this is also an dichotomous variable then the next please rank please rank the following factor that influenced you to leave the organization from 1 to 5 that is we have to rank um for example 1 for low salary 2 for bad work condition 3 for others we can do they are asking us to rank something and that's why it comes under ordinal okay so the next question is also similar question please rank the following factor that influenced you to remain in the organization from 1 to 10 so this also comes under ordinal then the next question is the working environment is open and trustworthy they have given a statement here and they have attached a rating scale to it you can see strongly agree disagree neutral agree and strongly agree this is actually a likert scale and they have attached this scale to this question and as a scale is attached it it comes under ordinal then the next thing leave facilities offered by the company this is also a statement and similarly a rating scale is also attached to it that is highly dissatisfied dissatisfied neutral satisfied and highly satisfied okay obviously this will come under ordinal only uh, because there is a rating scale attached to it they will also ask like this look at the provision column this is the statement the performance based on incentives compensation paid for workers during layoffs overtime salary salary structure yearly bonus scheme these are the questions and and people are asked to rate their satisfaction level highly satisfied dissatisfied neutral satisfied and highly satisfied and yeah that's all i think you was able to understand it better with a questionnaire if so please comment in the comment section so that i'll be happy right and one more suggestion my suggestion is you can attempt quizzes related to nominal and ordinal concept so that you can be keen on the topic let me put some of the links in the description box below if you want you can attempt it okay birds such a thing searching for food and asking me to feed them okay we have come to the end of the video thank you for the patience listening and see you all in the next video bye bye